It's the eve of WWDC 23 as I release this video. And for those of you in the Apple development community, this is really our New Year's Eve. After tomorrow, the gloves are off and we'll all be busy learning about everything new for all Apple OSs and how we can implement the new APIs in our apps. For me as a YouTube content provider, this is an exciting time because it'll give me lots of ideas for new videos in the coming year. I normally release a new video each Sunday, but this week you'll get this video, and next week I won't release a video at all because there will be so much content available through the developer app from Apple that I highly recommend that you spend some time reviewing Apple's high quality videos and discover new things and what direction you want to go in the near future. This is what I'll be doing. Beginning June 18th, I'll be back on track, but I won't be doing any iOS 17 videos until after I've had a chance to digest and learn the new APIs myself so I can present the information to you in a way that will make sense to you, and this will likely be starting in August. In the meantime, I'll continue to produce and release more videos in my current Deep Dive series. I thought I'd take this opportunity though to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel and for watching my videos and give you a bit of a recap of what I've been doing since the last WWDC. I created and have a list of 19 videos on new topics introduced in iOS 16. I try to give explanations and practical examples of each of the new APIs that I recovered. In addition, I created a series of videos on local notifications. I created a series on using Core Data and the Photos UI to manage photos. And I have a 10 part series called the Coding Workshop that includes full written documentation as well as the videos for building three complete applications. In addition, I created all sorts of one-off videos on different topics, but the series I'm most proud of because I learned the most from creating them myself is my Deeper Understanding series, and I'm still producing this series at this time. I had the honor as well of creating a couple of series for Chris Ching of Code with Chris and his Code with Chris Plus offerings. The first series is on building a multifaceted two-player game, and it's now available on YouTube. The second series was on using the DAL-E Images API to create an app that will generate images based on your description. This is not on YouTube yet, but look for it sometime in the new year. All in all, I created, produced, and released over seven videos this past Apple year. Now you're used to hearing me on YouTube, but did you also know that I was on three podcasts last year? The first wasn't related to iOS development at all. It was called Oldish, and it's conversations with aging in the 21st century. The first Swift podcast I did this year was The Swift Descent with Craig and Anna. And then recently I was on the More Than Just Code podcast with Tim Mitra. Maybe one day I'll be selected to speak at a conference, and I'll see you all in person. But you may have noticed that recently I've been doing some live commentary with a video of me just like this as I'm getting more confident and it appears that despite my age I still have something to offer. My channel is approaching 15,000 subscribers. Anyway, enjoy WWDC and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you'll know when the new videos drop. The one coming on June 18th with Match Geometry Effect has something special too. Thanks for watching.